Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome and guys, thank you for being here. I am honored to be able to deliver messages for you. Any of my newcomers, new subscribers, I appreciate you all. Thank you for being on here on my channel, Empress Be Healer. For any of my new subscribers, my name is Welcome. Come on in, come on in. These messages are timeless. That is why I don't put a date, but I feel such beautiful, loving, strong energy from you guys. And thank you for the energy exchange. Those that exchange energies with me, those that exchange energies with me, listen, you are getting that back tenfold, that cornucopia energy, that loving energy, that energy of health, that energy of wealth and abundance is being delivered back to you. Just you being here, just you, uh, you know, connecting again, energy exchange, liking the video, sharing the video, subscribing and leaving a comment. And this is where Pluto is now in Aquarius and that hasn't happened for 200 years. So massive recalibrations, massive resets are happening. If you get a visual, I just see a boulder knocking down buildings and those buildings being restructured, remade because the things in that building or that the things in that house, they just wasn't working anymore. Not the, not the appliance ain't working, the wires don't work, the plumbing don't work, the ceilings is cracking and falling. For some, the, the mold in the basement, you know, you got stuff in the attic that's just, the windows don't even go up and it's just hot up there in the attic and you can't even go up in there. All of that, that's, that's the overall visual that the beautiful spirit is showing me right now. Listen, we are always in the energy of the Holy Spirit, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I give so much thanks to Source. And Source is always with me, divinely with me, that I know that I am Source as well. All right, so long, long, long intro. That is just part of, you know, my channel messages as soon as I get on. I am a prophetess. Uh, not just a tarot reader. I am an intuitive reader. So which means I can channel without the cards, right? But we are here for the cards or maybe we're not, but you know, sometimes me shuffling, I'm getting, I'm picking up the downloads that way, right? All right. So let's just um, be in the present moment, right? Let's be in the present moment. Take a, let's take a moment. Let's Let's gather this energy. Let's gather the energy, right? Call in a circle of light that is always protecting us and nothing can penetrate us that is anything that is demonic, anything that is evil, anything that is trying to penetrate cannot penetrate your circle, okay? So we're just gonna give, take uh, two deep breaths, right? Two deep breaths. We are going to call in that love light energy, right? We're going to hold on three seconds and exhale all the way out your belly. Release anything out that is in your cells, anything that is in your veins, anything that is stagnant within you. We are breathing that out right now before we get to these messages, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys ready? One more time, inhale. Spirit said one more time, we got our threes. Clear that energy out, move that energy out. So the cells, the cells right now, the that cellular energy, there's a cellular upgrade, a cellular DNA activation that is happening at this time. So I have written down already, I got my journal close by, you know, I get these downloads, so I have to 
I may not be able to jump on camera right then and there and deliver these messages. So, so I have to retain that because a lot, a lot comes through, right? Some is meant for, to share and some is just meant for me for my healing growth. But it was the cellular which gave me the visual of it showed spirit was showing me pay phones we don't have pay phones no more some of this new generation may not even know what a pay phone is what it looks like or how to use it there's that energy collectively with this the cellular right and it's making me uh get a visual of the cellular phones you know either you're resonating with an iPhone or you're resonating with the an Android it's coming down to this AI this technology that's really trying to um, do a division and it's connecting us or is disconnecting us from nature it is disconnecting us from what is organic and for us to remain in a state of being organic uh, this way there is no division there is no uh, separation from source. There is no separation from Mother Earth, Divine Mother. There's no separation from father and child. Like the the, the unity of family um, needs to tighten up and it needs to get more solid at this time is the, the messages that are coming through. The other messages with the cell phone is, you know, if you did have an iPhone, if you do have an iPhone, even the Android, right? No matter what phone you have, let's just go with that. I'm saying iPhone because they're very expensive and everybody's, you know, I'm an iPhone. I'm, well, I'm not, I'm an Android, but don't click off because I just said that. But anyway, you wouldn't use an old charger from another phone or you just wouldn't use a charger that doesn't belong to the iPhone. It could mess that phone up right it could mess up your thousand dollar phone or your two thousand dollar phone i don't know how much those um iphones cost but you wouldn't do that right so spirit is saying that's the same concept with your energy that's the same concept with your aura you would not plug in right spirit is showing me a socket something going in the socket you would not just let anything go in your in your phone right so why would you allow another person to do that? Why would you settle for somebody to do that? Why would you put your attention to a charger that doesn't even charge your phone? Which, let's say, okay, I'm going to refer to the humans as the cell phone because cell phones, computers, any and all this technology is made up from the the human body if you really think about it right i'm being seen a bunch of wires all tangled together almost like almost like the christmas i have to get this analogy out so i don't know maybe maybe this might not be a tarot reading but let let's let's go with where the messages need to go because somebody really 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 needs this right the wires, like how you have Christmas tree wires, or just if you somebody that always, you know, always had the wires in the corner somewhere jumbled all the way up, needing to unwire it, right? There's that energy is right now is the time to unwire everything within you. Unwire the way that you think, unwire, you know, the way you plan, the way that you make decisions, unwire old beliefs that was given to you, that was given to all of us. When we look at the TV, it's a, you gotta change the channel. I always talk about changing the channel, change the dial. I'm gonna say change the dial. There's really no dial to change, but there's a frequency with that, that word, changing the dial. Does it mean when you change the channel, what was playing is still going to be playing and somebody else is still going to be watching it. But that's not what you're watching. You, you're watching or your attention and your awareness is untangling these wires, right? Knowing no one else is going to come in and, and do that for you. That is something that you have to do for yourself. So beautiful Holy Spirit, divine source is saying, 
and that analogy of the, the cellular energy to get connected back with yourself, get connected back with learning biology of your body. Matter of fact, studying with the cells, studying actually um, how our gut is uh, made up of learning all of the different organs within you, making sure that you're tapping in. When you're meditating, it's a, you can do a form of meditation or a form of tapping, okay, where you want to just tap and, and get to those center points of where you are where that energy is where where are you where are you stagnant where are you you know where are you stagnant where's where's that energy focus on that energy focus on yourself and really getting in tune with planting and grounding with the energy with uh with actual soil if not there's if you google and look up a grounding mat Somebody needs a grounding mat. It's just all over the place. And then the energy of Pluto anyway in Aquarius, there's no way to hide things anymore. There's no way that you're not going to be able to walk in your truth because something is going to keep triggering you for that to happen. And the more out of alignment that you are, the more destructive something is going to seem. It is going to seem like that boulder just knocked your entire house or the entire building all the way to dust, leaving you having to rebuild that. All right, guys, that was the message. It, it wasn't for the tarot. I will come on with another message after this. I do have a few message uh, videos lined up but this was very uh, specific for somebody. Somebody needed this. So whenever you are in alignment with this, uh, it is your message or somebody that is in your energy. It is a message for them. So guys, please don't forget, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. And then just leave me a comment and just say hi. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.